So here is Jack's wonderfully constructed box. Here is Ayla's wonderfully constructed plain box thing. Okay, and here is Hunter's box. Now we can all agree this is Ayla's here. More like a. We can all agree. So who thinks Jack's got the most volume? I think I have the most volume. Who thinks Hunter's? Who thinks Ayla's? Well. Now Ayla's service area is definitely less. Jack's is less than Hunter's, but I'd argue that either Jack's or Ayla's has got the highest volume. And we'll find out. We'll find out. So this is a a very classic, and you've probably got an example just like this in your textbook, where someone's folding something up. What's the volume of a prism? Length times width times height. How many variables do we have? Three. How many things did we change? Uh, okay, let's let's ask a different question. Is there a way I can represent that equation with only one variable? Is there a way I can represent that equation with only one variable? Well, let's let's identify firstly on this sheet. Oh, we meant to make a square. I'm waiting. What is this distance here? Represent the height, correct? What about this distance here? Height. What's the full width? So could I get my width in terms of height? What's this length here? In blue. Width minus one. Width minus one height? So wouldn't my width now be 20 minus 2h? Yeah. Is that my width? Yes. What about my length? What's my height? H. It's just H, isn't it? That's my height? Yeah. So, how many variables do I have in that equation? What is... 30 times 60. Uh, 30 times 20, sorry. 60. Well, 600. <laughs> minus 60H. Minus 40H. Plus 4H squared. All of that times H. Happy with that? That's what V equals. 600H. Minus 60H. Oh, sorry. Minus 100H, let's collect like terms because we're in big boy school now. Minus 100H plus squared, sorry, plus 4H cubed. Is everyone happy with that? Now what would I do? What's that now? If I took all context out of that equation and said find the max, could you do it? Because what we just did then is trial and error. What I just asked you to do then was say, give me the biggest volume you can. I bet no one in this room's done that. Well, someone has to nope. The biggest volume possible is what I asked for. I bet no one's done it. Well, then how do you get the biggest volume? If only there was some method of calculus that could allow us to find the length of the cut that we should make. To get a maximum volume. Oh, you want us to do that first? Oh, you just get the standard size of the paper. Then. What, 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 what you did? What you did? Why don't we? 
Why don't we use the thing between our ears before we use the thing be between our cheeks? Hey? If I said find the max of that equation, purely out of any context, ignore everything else, could you find the max? Yes. How? With respect to? DVDH. DVDH. So I want you to drive that. DVDH. Off you go. Four has the power three, sorry. Broken handwriting is not my strength. Thank you, Dr. Sakima, for your wonderful medical opinion. Cool. Don't be offended if I don't want to go to you for my medical advice. Well, you might have to unless you have a stroke. Plenty of fields in OT. They do a lot of hand stuff. What am I going to do, do now? Let the VDH equal? What method are we thinking about using here? What type of problem have we got? Quadratic, so you could either go to your calculator and graph that and find where it equals zero. You could you could put the equation in your calculator, or you could use um, h equals negative b squared plus or minus the square. Sorry, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac over two a. You know that quadratic equation we learnt in year nine.